No sign of him so far. Do you think he went this way? Maybe he used this to get through to the other side of the mountain. But this cave is the Weezen of Kados! A powerful monster called Terapus lives here. It's supposed to be really dangerous. Or at least that's what Nan told me. Perhaps he went inside without knowing that. Like he was hiding out here hoping we just pass him by. Well now, let's have a nice long chat. What were you trying to gain setting us up like that back at the Coliseum? And get back that case! You leave me no choice. Leviathan's claw? I'm taking you down. These guys are all over the place. Guess this means Ruins Gate and Leviathan's Claw are connected. So they pretend to help with the excavations, then swipe materials and sell them later, huh? Who oh, I'll make them pay, I swear. How could a guild as famous and renowned as Ruins Gate do something like that? Judith, wait! He'll get away if we don't hurry. Remember what I said? There's a really nasty monster living in there. Hey, what do you say we call it a day? Old Raven can't afford to get too far from Nordopolica without getting this letter to Bellius. The Don will hit me with another one of his thankless jobs otherwise. Well, I'm going after him. I can't let somebody like that just do whatever with the Blastia he takes from the ruins. And I'm gonna get that case back, too. Uh, I'm going, too. What are you talking about? You're staying put here. I'm not. Huh. This doesn't sound like something Brave Asperia can very well pass up. Yeah. It's our job to protect Estelle. If we all go together, we're bound to come up with something. Sure you'll be all right without the Great Raven? I think so. Good luck delivering the letter. Ugh. Jeez, aren't you even gonna try to stop me from leaving? Get ready, I'm taking you down.
Hold still. I'll make this quick. Oh, nice moves. Such grace! Uh, Scrap resound! Oh cry of victory! Alright, yeah, I feel good. Still, I'll make this quick. Here comes a new spell. Ready? Amazing, Carol. <laughs> that bag's just amazing. My bag.
Nothing personal. This might take this! Was that okay? Beautiful. Did you just hear something? Right here! Whoa! Wait! Patty? Ah! We meet again! You sure pop up in the weirdest of places. Still looking for Eifried's treasure? Aye, that I am. Hey, what kind of treasure is it anyway? Prepare to have your socks blown off. It's the Maristella. What is that? Um, I... I'm not sure. Wow, even our walking encyclopedia hasn't heard of it. Out of Eifried's treasures, the Maristella is the most precious. Well, has anyone found it yet? They're called treasures precisely because they're hard to find. You're a weirdo. Hey! I heard in Nordopolica that you're Eifried's granddaughter. Is that true? Whoa, little lady, that right. I wonder how the Don would react if he found out his sworn ally had a granddaughter. Now that you mention it, the Don and Eifried were friends since before the Union was formed, weren't they? But hey, you're lying, right? About being Eifried's granddaughter. I mean, you never said anything about that before. It's the truth, I think. You think? What do you mean? I mean, I'm speculating. Estelle's asking why you would claim someone's your grandfather based on just speculation. Oh, well, that's because I have amnesia. Am... Amnesia? Yep. Then you don't know for sure whether you really are Eifried's granddaughter? There's no doubt it's true. I think. Oh, come on! Make up your mind! Which- Because I don't know. I'm searching for the Maristella because I don't know. So basically, to get your memories back, you want to meet Eifried, a guy who might be your gramps. And to find him, you're looking for that Maristella treasure. That sound about right? Aye. Someday I'll meet my grandpa. But... On a more urgent subject, shouldn't we be going after the Red Box? Oh, right! Hey, why are you following us? I was planning on going this way anyway. Then why don't we travel together? I'd like that. This isn't like going shopping, you know. I know that. If something happens, I'll help out. Well, aren't you helpful? Wow, the day is just fly by. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do with having bad luck? We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point.
This ain't a bad strategy either. from now on. There's no need to be pessimistic. I see. That's a different point of view. I'll stuff my mind's album with memories of Yuri! Yuri and more Yuri! Just thinking of it makes me shiver. I... I hope there might be a little room for me in there. I... I think we can squeeze you into a corner somewhere. here too what do we do charge right in i don't think so judith is right touching air that thick is dangerous i i can't believe that something like that would s save me wait ah! it looks like we'll have to keep our distance w what's this sh shaking Is that the monster you were talking about, Carol? Uh, no! I've never seen a monster like that before! No, Patty, don't! <laughs> Whoa! Can it eat the air? This 
is not good. Hey, I can move. You're not getting away again. Rita, be careful! Don't worry, it's not harmful at its current density. What the hell just happened? The monster we just saw somehow normalized the air crane that was out of control. But that would mean that it can control the air. Could it be the same thing that guy did with his sword back in Cave Mock? Can we pass through it? Rita! Oh, uh, right. It should be okay. All right! Charge! Uh, Patty, please be careful. What's the matter? I have to figure this out. I mean, this is what I'm traveling for. Come on, Rita. I know, I know. We have to follow him, but I just... That air cranny isn't exactly going anywhere, is it? Of course not, you idiot. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, let's go. All right. Carol, are you okay? Y yeah. Peachy. No, really, I'm fine. That monster's power. Was that the Rizomata formula too? Monster that consumes air? Just what was that creature? It did seem different from other monsters somehow. Yeah, that's for sure. It also looked like it was staring at us. Maybe it was wondering which of us to eat first. It, it looked into my eyes for quite a long time, actually. How nice for you. You must have thought you looked the tastiest. I don't think I'd call that nice. I never would have guessed there would be an air crane in the Weezen of Kados. Me neither. I guess nobody passing through ever noticed it. It must not have been putting out enough air until now for anyone to feel the effects. Sounds right. It sure picked the perfect time to start going crazy. That was a serious pain. Well, I was able to log a new discovery, so it worked out in the end. Yeah, so glad you enjoyed yourself. So, someone has one of those air crane you found? Rita, you explain. I'm all ears. I've been participating in the conversation, right?
Okay, okay. Love? What does she mean? Looks like our little game of tag is over, Reggae. <laughs> n no. I'll have to show you my really real power. No way! Huh. So that's what's been going on. What does this mean? Was he disguising himself as Reggae? I don't think we have time to worry about the particulars right now. Oh, me, oh, my. How terribly frightening. I don't know what I'd do if I were to end up like poor Rago. What do you mean? What happened to him? Oh, they found his body face down in a riverbed back in Dongrest. I just couldn't bear it if I ended up like that, you know. Rago is... dead? But why? Oh, I'm afraid that's not for me to say. My, my lips are zipped up tight, for sure.
I'm not done yet. We need no sucker from our enemies. You're not gonna make fools of us! But with those injuries... Let us withdraw. Bye-bye for now! Man, this stinks. Where'd this smoke come from? <laughs> They're throwing our canine friend here off the scent. As long as we put up with the smell, we'll be fine. But I can't stand that smell. We're going after them. What is with this heat? We've passed through the caverns and come out on the other side of the mountains. So you mean... Those are the sands of Kogor. Whoa. You made it all the way there? The sands of Kogor. Pharaoh's here. I... I'm going on... to meet Pharaoh. Wait! We can't just let you go alone. I mean, our job right now is to protect you. Well, we did get the stolen box back, right? Yeah, I guess we can't just keep chasing him around. <sighs> All right, we'll take care of him next time. Hold on. Are you seriously going? Do you know what you're saying? This is a desert. It's hot. People die here, get it? I'm ready for it. I think. The desert is divided into three regions. Huh? The foothills to the west, the center where it's hottest, and the massive peaks to the east. Hey, hold on! There's a town between the end of the western foothills and the central area. Where did you hear that? I went there with a friend once. It's a nice town built up around an oasis. We'll hold off on any major decisions until we get there then. Sounds good to me. Paul Raven wouldn't be able to think straight till he cools off. What are you gonna do, Patty? What's that treasure you're searching for? Maristella, was it? Well, I can't guarantee you'll find any clues in that town, though. Don't worry. As long as there are people, I'm sure there'll be clues. Well, there are people living there. Then I'll be joining you. Rita. I know. We'll make that our first destination. I'm still trying to get my head around the fact that Regé was Jaeger's alter ego. This spells out the connection between Ruins Gate and Leviathan's Claw pretty clearly, and that Jaeger was the boss of both guilds. Isn't it kind of early to say that for sure? It is possible that the Regé we met was just Jaeger putting on a show. Maybe the real Regé's off in some ruins someplace, just digging away, happy as a clam. We're gonna have a hell of a time if it's really that complicated. I don't know. Maybe I'm just puzzling over it a little too hard. We'll have to keep at it until we get to the bottom of this mess. Seems like a pretty sleepy town. Well, in this heat? There are knights even here, though! I don't recall seeing such intimidating people here the last time I came. All right, I'm off to search for clues about the treasure. Bye-bye for now! You're leaving? Oh, so you want me to stay a little longer, eh? Well, it's been fun and all, but I'm sure Patty's got things she needs to take care of. Then I guess it's time for me to be off. Be careful out there.
All right. Shall we each go our own way for now? <sighs> I'm for that. Before I do anything, I want to give these feet a rest. Okay, then. Let's meet up in front of the inn after sunset. Okay. See you then. No easy thing looking out for everybody else. Well, I think we all could use a little time to think things over. <laughs> the kids are all right. I wouldn't think the knights would bother coming all the way out to a border town like this. More power to them if they're really here to defend the public order, or whatever, but something tells me there's more to it than that. Hey, old man. Sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Mm. Whoa, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Bellius, right? Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then, I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easygoing? You sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you miss the new moon, the Don will yell at you for sure. Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. If I gotta wait, I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult, too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? You got me. Now marry me. I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, uh, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. Eifried is... I don't know about you. But for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, Eifried is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. <sighs> and if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not gonna take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. <sighs> and as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. 
All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later! <sighs> Yuri! Hey, why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita'd joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me I... You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri... Then I... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. selling weapons and that they were smuggling them illegally out of ruins sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light i guess that's so sad though well you don't need to worry about those guys just keep living your life the way you know is right and lead brave vesperia to victory with pride yeah you're right anyway we need to worry about pharaoh for now yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? Hmm. Well, let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. that without a key I know are you really gonna return it yes I am you got a problem with that nope you saw what happened in Nordopolica this thing made it so I couldn't control my magic the clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow interferes with air how could a tiny box like this do something like that I don't know that's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're gonna look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but I can't. I've never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she?
you off to? Nowhere in particular, just going on a walk. What about you? Where were you going? I just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we were going to be headed into next. It's good to be prepared. So how was it? It was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm. Well, okay. But what I wanted to know was if Pharaoh was out there. Right. That'd be nice. Oh, well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. <sighs> what? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we should do it together. Oh, I see. Carol, this is for you. Huh? What's going on, Estelle? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. Huh? What do you mean? You haven't found what you're looking for yet. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Take your leave? What are you gonna do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! Which is why I must go alone. I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really, but I'm afraid I can't let you. Estelle, wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared, but I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. Ooh, there's no reasoning with any of you! Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes, I've thought a lot about this. You all have something that's important to you. A goal you give everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own, something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... this is something I have to do for myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you idiots. Rita. There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. You've got your air credit research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air crene isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But we're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. I wonder what Pharaoh will do. Oh, my heart! Whoa, whoa, are you okay, old man? 
It's just the sound of money gets this old heart racing. Stop that jingling, would you, Carol? Huh? All right, whatever. I can't believe how much gold we have. I bet it would feel great to spend all this gold at once. No way! We still need to save lots more. Ah, sounds like you've got plans for the future, kid. Saving for a hideout for brave Vesperia? No, I wasn't thinking of that. It's just that saving lots of money feels good, you know? You know what they call that, kid? Penny pinching, that's what. There's no use hoarding your money for later. You gotta spend it all at once. Go wild. No, no, that's even worse. You kids have got no sense of moderation. All right, old man, then what do you think we should do with it? Just invest it in Old Raven. My secret guild knowledge will give you back a hundred times as much. Pass. Can we stay the night here? Hello. Welcome to the Desert Oasis Mantake. What's with this night? Well, um... Will... will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Have a nice day. And it gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! But man, I just can't relax with a knight standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone. Let's get some sleep. Hmm... Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but it would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks. We've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here, too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordopolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into Arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to Arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale's there, but... <sighs> Thank you very much for your business. Wait! But... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. 
This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa! No comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. Ready to go. Right. Stop it! Let go! Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. No way! We're going to look for mommy and daddy! Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger. Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the Magistrate on their behalf. Hey... Wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies! Do you think that maybe... I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, hey, bro, are we gonna go look for mommy and daddy? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. <laughs> Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here. Take this, cause you're so nice. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. I was just thinking about what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the Princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right. We can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All right. Let's go. 